To use the arcade spinner joystick buttons, you will need to download Matthew's uh, library located on my page here. Uh, once downloaded, you can follow the few steps to install it within the Arduino IDE. Drivers will also be required uh, to run the Pro Micro. I have a section uh, under troubleshooting where you can get a link uh, to the Arduino GitHub site. They give uh, a section in their page on the GitHub how to install their drivers through the Arduino IDE uh, by adding a special URL. Once the URL is added uh, just follow their instructions from the page. You, you just uh, install it within the uh, Arduino IDE app itself. Once you install the ProMicro drivers in Matthew's special library for the joystick functions, uh, you may want to try out the special blink sketch offered by uh, Spark Fun. Uh, Spark Fun was the, I believe, the original uh, producer of the board. So just go in their site, do a copy, bring up an Arduino IDE. It's loading, and uh, deposit their code over top of a new uh, bit of code once in there should be able to well once your configuration set up for a Sparkfun Pro Micro uh, and whatever COM port you're configured to uh, you can do a test compile and it should come back clean. Uh, once the compile is done you can do an actual upload and uh, as it's uploading you will load the code into the board and as you can see the uh, blink code is actually operating. Once you confirm that your Pro Micro is properly communicating with your computer you can go back to my arcade spinner page and go down to the part of the page where I have uh, three different pieces of code listed I'm just going to download the simple mouse version no joystick version right now just click on the on the link and it should auto download the uh, code and once the code has finished downloading, open up your download folder and double click on the INO file that was downloaded. Arduino IDE will start, but it will require that the uh, sketch be uh, located within its own folder, so say OK to that. Once that has been uh, processed, I'll do quick modification to get rid of the uh, uh, buttons. I'll turn on uh, the just spin for now. Uh, this uh, compiler directive will go through the code and drop out bits of code that are needed or uh, are required or not required. So you can go ahead and compile it now. The compiler came back with an error. Uh, I missed, uh, I have an extra note. You must also disable the axis flip if, if you're just doing a just spin. So once again, uh, do the reverse of that. Uh, comment out that code so it doesn't compile that code. Uh, we'll compile again and see what happens.
compile was successful. Now you can upload the code to your board. And it's now uploading. Once again, we have a, another error. Uh, it can't find the board. The odds are uh, it decided to go to another COM port for whatever reason. So just change it to that new COM port and do the upload again, which will do the compile, then followed by the, the uh, upload. As you can see, the upload was successful. The blink sketch is no longer operating. Once the code has compiled, you will need to get your spinner configured with either uh, soldering directly to the board or uh, using these DuPont GST connectors. Uh, you can get a kit where it gives you multiple connectors in one as opposed to a single, but that will require a special uh, crimper that you, you uh, put the extra ones in and crimp down uh, unless you just decide to buy the kit for the holders. Uh, the uh, connector will have uh, of course the positive, negative, plus the A and B uh, pulses of, uh, to produce the quadrature outputs. Uh, once you get a, a header set up and everything you can you can plug it into the board uh, with uh, ease and uh, and also add extra buttons to the extra extra pins uh, if you wish to do so. I now have the spinner actually plugged into the uh, Pro Micro board, and if you've noticed, uh, the mouse over there, oops, it's not over there, it's actually there, will move back and forth uh, based on the spinner. Uh, speed depends on the speed of which you move the, uh, the actual wheel on the spinner. I hope you uh, enjoy this. I have uh, instructions with multiple bits of code for different configurations for a spinner. I also have an other page for trackballs which are, act like a double spinner, one for the X axis and one for the Y axis using also ProMicro. Um, I also added functionality to it to add like an RGB lighting uh, underneath the uh, trackball ball. Once again you can find my arcade spinner uh, github page uh, located there. Uh, it's Craig B spinner dot github dot io will take you to the the main page and from that page you can select either the spinner or trackball uh, uh, do do it yourself uh, uh, controllers.